Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you can see, we're going to be doing my October BoxyCharm unboxing. My box was supposed to be here like two days ago, but there was a delay in shipment. It wasn't BoxyCharm's fault. It was USPS. Regardless, my box is here now. So I am ready to jump in, create something beautiful, and show off all of the products in the box. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching. And please don't forget to subscribe because I do upload three times a week. And that is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. There's also going to be a giveaway in this video. And as we go through the box, I will let you know what I'm giving away because I already own some of the items in the box, which naturally means more for you guys. So the way to enter that giveaway is going to be like this video, comment down below with what you're most excited to get your hands on, and make sure to subscribe to my channel and you will be entered. So if you want to see everything inside my October box, keep on watching. All right, so my face is done outside of everything I do need in the box. So first out of the box is going to be the theme card. And the theme is Boxy After Dark. The first product we're going to play with. So I did get the Dose of Colors Sassy Sienna's Palette, which I do already have. So this is going to be going right into the giveaway. And honestly, when I opened my box and I saw this was the palette that came in it, which again, I have all of these Dose of Colors palettes and the formula is beautiful. I am obsessed with them, but these are not the colors I want to use today. So I'm going to be dipping into the Pretty Cool palette today, which is another variation. So for the sake of this video, you guys know I did get the Sassy Sienna's palette, but I will be using a different palette today, which is also one of the variations in the box. So many of you will be getting this palette instead. This is a five pan matte eyeshadow palette with a mixture of shades. It is a great way to add boldness and vibrancy to any look, and this retails for $32. So I'm just gonna be doing a very simple smoky eye with these really pretty grungy gray shades. So I'm gonna start with the second lightest shade, and I'm going to put that right into the socket of the eye. I am going to link right up here two different videos where I used two other of the Dose of Colors palettes. One where I used the mauve palette and one where I used the brown palette. Just so if you got either of those palettes in your box and you want to see either inspiration or a demo or a look with those, you can see both of those right above. Then going into one shade lighter on that same brush, I'm just going to blend that line up just to blow it out a little bit. Then dipping into the middle shade, I'm going to pack that right on the outer portion of the lid and then blend it out in small circular motions. I am actually gonna be skipping this gray shade just because I, you don't need all five shades to do a palette or to do a look. I did actually make fun of it a little while ago because I remember like 10 years ago we would all use like 30 browns. You can do a look with two shades, one shade, four shades. I will be skipping the fifth. I'm going to take the darkest shade and I'm going to take a tiny amount of that just on the very outer corner of the eye and I'm actually going to blend that down towards the lash line. Then I'm going to go back into that first brush and just blend out the edges to make everything seamless. Now we are gonna keep this whole look matte today. So I'm gonna go into a packing brush on that lightest shade and I'm going to press that into the inner portion of the lid and kind of blend that over the darker shade just to give myself that nice gradient. And then going into the middle shade one last time I'm just going to kind of blend where those shades meet so that it is a nice, well-blended gradient. For the lower lash line, nice and simple, I'm just going to take the second shade right here. This is actually the Moda Pro pencil brush that we got in last month's box. And I'm just going to run that directly under the entire lash line. Then on that first brush with no additional product, I'm just going to lightly diffuse that out just so everything looks nice and blended. You guys know I live for a cool tone moment, so I'm really quite happy with these colors, which is why obviously this is the palette I wanted to jump into today. I'm just going to take a tiny bit more of that lightest shade and just really concentrate it on the innermost portion of the lid 
just to make sure there is quite a bit of brightness there. Next item out of the box. This is from Hollywood and Vine. This is the Velvety Touch Smooth Coal Eyeliner. Uh, line your eyes with rich intensity of Velvet Touch Smooth Coal Eyeliner. Creamy formula glides on smooth and adds a dramatic adds drama to any desired look. This retails for $7. So obviously this is not like the pricey moment in the box. It is a traditional sharpened pencil and it's quite long. It actually reminds me of like the wet and wild pencils that we all used in middle school. So I'm going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to, I'm about to hold this up like it's a mirror. Um, I'm going to throw a little bit of this into the waterline. So it's definitely creamy and it definitely deposits nicely. I have such issues with some of these liners that they just don't deposit color, but I'm not having an issue at all with this. I mean, I'm going to be honest, it is not my Marc Jacobs or my Urban Decay liners, but it is a $7 liner, so who really would expect it to be, you know. I mean, I have my staples that I love. They are definitely creamier. I don't know how long wearing this one is, but for a nice creamy liner to either buff out or smoke out, I prefer a pencil like this because you get a little bit more playtime. If I go in with the Marc Jacobs, I have to work really fast to get like a smoky eye. With something like this, there's usually a little bit more of that like smoky playtime if you really want to blow out a nice smoky look. So the next item out of the box, this is from Hank and Henry Beauty. This is the Slick With It Mascara Duo. Slick With It Mascara will have you feeling like you have major clout. Vegan mascara is waterproof, does not flake or transfer. It is a dual wand to work with the formula to add volume and length, while the other side is thin for your lower lashes. If you guys are new here, you will know that I don't typically put any mascara on my lower lashes just because first off my lower lashes are pretty sparse so I don't like to accentuate the fact that there's only like four of them by putting on mascara but I do love a really thin wand oh that's really thin this reminds me of the it cosmetics tightline mascara I love taking a really thin brush to wiggle very close to my lashes to get them really close and then yeah that's a nice wand as well so I'm going to curl my lashes first. And now that we've got a nice curl on the lashes, I'm going to take the thicker side and let's try this out. And this does retail for $19. Right off the bat, the brush is super easy for coating every single lash. It is not clumping. Like, I don't know if you guys, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. So you see how all of the lashes are coated, but they are separated. They're not clumping into like giant clusters. That is what I typically like in a mascara. I want my lashes to look nice and long and separated, but I don't want them to clump together. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to the small wand something I love doing to make sure my lashes get really nice and well coated is I will take a oh, focus on me there we go I'll take the thin side and I'm actually going to back comb my lashes this is something I do with every mascara because that just makes them thicker and then I will go over one last time going up just to fan them out and separate them Okay, so this side is great for the back combing effect. I would not recommend it to go up through the lashes. So I'm going to switch back to the larger side and comb through with one last coat just to separate my lashes. All right, so mascara is on and honestly, it looks nice. I don't know if this is going to be the type of mascara that I tend to gravitate towards just because it is a lot more volume than I typically like. I usually go for like lift and curl, but it is very pretty. I think my lashes look nice and separated. I will have to try this again because that smaller brush definitely messed up the top lashes. It did not advertise that. That was kind of a Brett mistake. So I'm going to have to see how that works on its own. So next item out of the box from Mellow, this is a tinted brow gel. Achieve effortlessly tamed and tinted brows with the Mellow Tinted Town uh, Brow Gel. Lightweight non-sticky gel formula with a mini brush allows you to finish and maintain perfectly groomed eyebrows with no mess. Perfect to use over powder or pencil. This retails for $16. You guys know brow gels are totally my vibe. I like them 
so much more than pencils and there are some days where I will use them with pencils but most of the time I'll kind of use them on their own so I'm going to try it on its own today it is definitely a bigger brush than I like or am used to I love this milk brow gel is my all-time favorite because it is such a baby applicator that I just find that it effortlessly combs through anything but I'm not gonna say no until I try this so let's see That was really easy. So it is a little darker than I normally go for. I know that my hair is pretty dark, but I like my brows to be a little bit ashier. These are a little on the intense side for what I tend to go for, but I am gonna just grab a quick spoolie and just kind of soften these up a little bit more. That's the thing I love about a brow gel is you can just kind of tame them, sculpt them, pull some out, and then these actually look quite nice. This is definitely a, again, a bigger applicator than I typically go for. So I feel like if I use this again, I would almost like scrape off a bunch of product and then go in, because I think there's a bit more product on there than I liked out the gate, but looks nice, did an easy job. I love a brow like this, ignore my brows because they do need to get plucked and I have to go get them cleaned up a little bit but for how full my brows are right now and how untamed they are it's definitely giving me a nice soft brow and the last item out of the box this is from iconic london this is also getting dropped into the giveaway because i already have it so this is mine that's the new one the new one is going back in the box so that i don't confuse them i've been using this for a couple weeks now and i already know i love this so this is the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. It is a hydrating mist that refresh, ref, refreshes with light reflecting properties that leaves the skin with an iconic glow. Multi-use spray, vitamin E, caffeine, green tea, vegan. Helps to condition the skin, combat dark circles, and leave everything revitalized. And this retails for $29. I did use a matte blush today and I only added a little bit of highlight so that everything is pretty matte because I want you guys to see how amazing this is. So... First thing I love about this, right out the gate I will let you know, there's no oil in it. This is a water-based setting spray, so I have very oily skin, but I like to glow. This is not going to make me look greasy, but all of those little beautiful shimmering particles are think like loose highlighter set in your setting spray, so it's just going to add an all-over glow to the skin. My skin is now completely dry, but you see how there's just this beautiful effortless glow to the skin? 1000% because of this. The smell is a little mature. People were laughing at me in my last video with this because I did mention that it kind of smells like what I would consider the Golden Girls to smell like. It's a little bit on the cucumbery and mature older lady. Nothing wrong with that, but it definitely does have a little bit of that scent to it. If you are sensitive to, sensitive to fragrance, you might not love it, but I have no issues with it, especially for something that makes my skin look this good. So I'm going to go and throw on a lip and I'll be right back. Okay, so every single time I go super cool tone on the eyes, I always wanna put on a red lip and every time I do, I regret it instantly. And for the first time ever, I actually love the way this lip came out. So time to tie up the box. So this box retails for $103, which compared to the $21 price for the box, it is definitely worth it. Obviously, you guys know I love the Dose of Colors palettes because I've mentioned it about a thousand times and I've already done three different videos on these palettes before. They are amazing quality and they retail for $32. So no matter what, if you are getting a Dose of Colors palette in your box, it is 100% worth it. Outside of that, I am going to say that the liner felt really nice. The brow is promising. I'm going to have to really give it a chance. The mascara, a little bit hit or miss for me. I am going to have to try that again. The setting spray, I am still loving. I'm gonna do one last quick little coat for a little extra glow. So like I say in every BoxyCharm video, as long as you find those one or two items that you're in love with, it is definitely worth the value for a $21 price point. This is the last month of the $21 box. It will be going up to $25 next month. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on with a new update to BoxyCharm called Boxy Premium. I will link a video explaining all of that right up here. And that is a super exciting change that's only going to mean bigger, better boxes for everyone. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the giveaway, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.